Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this UpClimber telescoping ladder. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So this is a 15.5 foot telescoping ladder. It's made of aluminum and plastic. Let's get this out of the box and we're going to look at this up close on my bench and then we'll show it in actual usage. So we have some instructions here on this rung. Let me cut them off. I'm not going to go over everything here. You can pause and read it on your own. So this can be used in the fully open position or you can use it partially open. This talks about using it. You want to have it at approximately a 75 degree angle to the surface you're climbing. And this talks about the stabilizer bar. It says if you're using it in a muddy environment, you want to make sure you clean it before you put it away. So I will be demonstrating a lot of this, but let's take a look at the construction the best we can here. So this has these aluminum tubes here and they get subsequently smaller as you go up the ladder. Then it has these plastic sleeves. I'm not an expert on plastic, but it looks like a reinforced plastic, so that should be incredibly strong. We have notes on the sides here on how to use it. Maximum weight on this is 150 kilograms, which would be around 330 pounds. The bottom here has these stabilizer bars that pull out to give you greater stability side to side. So I'm going to read through the instructions. I'll familiarize myself with this, and then we'll take a look at its features and usage. Okay, so I brought this outside where we have a little more room. Let's take a couple measurements on it. So the width at the top is about 17 and a half inches. The bottom is around 19 inches, but these pull out and that takes it to 26 and a half inches. So this base is also angled. So when you put it on the ground, it will be flat. So this is held shut with this strap with the hook and loop fastener. Now there are two ways to extend this. If you want to extend it all the way up, you can pull out the top rung and then the next rung in succession till the whole ladder is extended. Now, when you do it in this fashion, you have to lift it all the way. If I were to stop here, when this touches here, this will collapse. So if you want to do full extension, you can start at the top. If you want partial, you can start at the bottom. So we'll pull up here and that will lock in place. And then we can keep going up and each level will lock in place. And you can extend the whole ladder this way. It's just easier to do if you start at the top if you want to extend the whole ladder. Now to retract the ladder, we have two little red latches here. We're going to push in on both of them. We want to keep our fingers clear of here. And that has like a piston kind of action on it that will keep it from dropping quickly. But you still don't want to have your fingers in there. So then we can put the strap on there and it's ready to be carried. So I'll do two demonstrations of this. First, I'm going to extend it partially to access the top of my RV, and then I'll extend it all the way to access the gable of my house. I forgot to mention when you're extending it, you want to put your foot on the bottom. Now, when you're retracting it, sometimes you can help it down and you want to grip it by the black things on the side. You don't want to press down on it where you could smash your fingers. So now let's try it at full extension.
So the rungs are around 16 inches apart, so they're spaced a little further than a traditional ladder. Okay, so here I am in my yard. The ground here is not as stable, so I can put the extensions out on the bottom. So this is going to make it more stable side to side than when you're just using the standard width of the ladder. I think that's a really nice feature to have for ground that's not quite as stable. Now you still do want to make sure you have stable ground, but this will just give you a little bit more support. So that's the UpClimber 15.5 foot telescoping ladder. So I demonstrated a couple different uses for this. So a ladder like this can be great for an RV. I have solar panels on my RV. I might need to get up there and clean them while I'm camping. I don't want to carry a huge ladder with me. This is a very tall ladder that can easily reach the top of the RV, but it collapses down to a small size. I found this very easy to deploy and put away. The only issue I think is some people that 16 inches between rungs could be tricky if someone has bad knees or something. But once you get used to it, it's second nature. So I have a multi-ladder, it's super heavy. If I just want to say pull a branch off the roof or something, it's a pain to lug around. This is gonna be much easier. It's lightweight and very fast to deploy and will easily cut my time in half. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.